Okay, if you missed question 22, then you need to watch this video explanation. I've written sentence 28 here. There's no way to avoid Mondays, comma, so join me in making the best of it. So our first answer choice is to change theirs to there isn't. So theirs stands for there is. So this is saying there is no way to avoid Mondays. So join me in making the best of it. Now, if I change theirs to there isn't, then I'm going to say there is not no way to avoid Mondays. So I have not and I have no, and I cannot do that because this would create a double negative. That we've talked about. So F is not my answer. G says change me to myself. There's no way to avoid Mondays, so join myself in making the best of it. No, that is not correct because myself does not make sense there because um, it's not the correct usage of the pronoun. Insert a comma after me. There's no way to join to avoid Monday, so join me, comma, in making the best of it. There's no reason for us to have a comma before in. So lastly, change it to them. Let's look. There's no way to avoid Monday, so join me in making the best of it. So we have to circle it, and we have to ask, what is it? What is it? talking about. This is called pronoun antecedent agreement. Okay, so we have to ask ourselves what is it referring to? So there's no way to avoid Mondays so join me in baking the best of it. Well it is replacing Mondays because really we could say there's no way to avoid Mondays so join me in making the best of Mondays. It is the pronoun used to replace Mondays. Now we see that Mondays has an S, so it's plural. So pronouns and their antecedents have to agree in number. So Mondays is plural, but look at it. It is singular. So we have to change it to be the plural pronoun to match Mondays, which is them. So J is the correct answer because of pronoun antecedent agreement.